Yes, ma'am. What's that? 231, Britain of the Council. 231. Uh, I did not realize when I started this, after working, I'd always worked in hotels and uh, worked in the opposite places. What went on in Oklahoma City at night? And I met a lot of very strange people. <laughs> It's an interesting job in that one moment you might have a uh, president of a corporation in your cab and the next time you uh, have someone that's intoxicated and then everybody in between, uh, you just never know who you're going to be picking up. It's a lifestyle. You get spoiled. When I worked in an office, you know, you had to ask somebody's permission if you want a day off something like that. With this, you don't want to go to work, you don't have to, but you also don't make any money, so you have to be very self-disciplined. Well, they have to drive normally six days a week. Uh, they normally drive about 12 hours a day. Uh, they spend a lot of time in the cab, and Oklahoma City's a very spread out uh, city, so it's, uh, you know, uh, sometimes they have to go a, a fair distance to pick up their passengers. Right now, we've got about 180 drivers. Well, a lot of the drivers like the freedom of it. I mean, they can. we don't tell them when to go to work in the morning. We don't tell them how late they have to work. Uh, if they want to stop mid-morning, have a cup of coffee, That's that they can do that. Or if they want to uh, go spend time with their kids or grandkids uh, when they get out of school, they can do that. They set their own hours. Um, some of them like working Saturdays. Uh, if, if it's a nice day out, they want to go fishing, they can do that. And then when it's inclement weather, you know, if they, uh, if they don't feel like driving in the inclement weather, they, they can choose to do so or not. If we don't feel like they're going to be a safe ride, then they're not getting in my car. And I have more trouble with drunk women than I ever had with the men. Drunk women are horrible. <laughs> Most time because they're mad at their husbands or boyfriends and they got left somewhere. And so they're in a bad mood when you get them in a car. To begin with, <laughs> they get consistently worse. <laughs>
They have two choices. One, they can uh, contact the police and, and let them handle it, or they can uh, just decide to uh, forget about it and move on to their next call. It doesn't happen a lot, but uh, like I say, there's really only uh, those two remedies for a situation like that. Compared to what it was when I started, it's, I think it's a lot safer now as long as the driver stays in there. Honey, I'm 59 years old. I'm hoping in the next three or four years I'm, I'm done. If I last that much longer, but I, I probably will. I'm not ready just to sit at home yet. It gives you an independence that when you work for somebody else, you don't, you don't have. But you've got to have the self-discipline to do it. It's just like any other business. If you don't work at it, you're not going to make it. The type of people, like I said, I was shocked. I didn't know all this stuff went on in Oklahoma City at night. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. And I'm sure it's still going on.